Let's start again. One of the aspects of sociopaths and psychopaths that even people who aren't familiar or don't know a lot about with the subject seem to know about is the, their eyes. You, there's a, a general notion and a general belief that you can tell a lot about a psychopath or you can indeed recognize a psychopath from their eyes. I think there's a lot of truth to that. In fact, there is a lot of truth to that. But I would, I would, I would urge caution here because you'll, you'll often hear people say, "Oh, he has a, he has a reptilian stare. Uh, he must be a psychopath." It, it could just be a bad picture. It could be a case of the person is on medication. It could have been that they had a stroke or something or some kind of a uh, condition which causes the muscles in their eyes to, uh, to have that kind of stare, kind of sometimes a kind of a reptilian deadness. Uh, so tr try to bear that in mind before you declare someone a psychopath. But the eyes is an important thing because if they have the other traits that I've mentioned in other videos, then the, the eyes will automatically, not automatically, but in, I'd say about 80% of the cases the psychopath will have, have traits in their eyes and, and sort of like a look in their eyes that can actually help, help you identify their act that they're, you're dealing with a psychopath. Uh, the most obvious one is a stare. The psychopaths have a very interesting stare. It's almost like a dead cold stare. It can be very, very piercing, but it can be very piercing in the sense that it can be dead. It can be piercing and lifeless. And sometimes a psychopath will stare at you in such a way that their eyes almost feel like they're just they're, they're drilling two holes into your soul. And this or this ties in with the whole notion of emotional vampirism and so on. Uh, that they they can act, they they can stare into the depths of your being. I don't think they can, but they, it's they, 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 it's almost like they cannot control this staring, but they do have it. You'll sort of see like it's almost like this kind of a thing, like it's almost like a. It's, it's almost like a. You know what they are a lot like. You know those. Uh, they have the same stare as a, a, a ventriloquist dummy. A lot of those ventriloquist dummies have the same eyes as psychopaths. Have the same eyes as them. Now the eye, the eye, uh, the eye issue with psychopaths is a lot more complex than just that. There's also there's difference between male psychopath eyes and female psychopath eyes. Now female psychopaths can also have the stare that many that many uh, male psychopaths have. Most male psychopaths, but the the most common trait in a female psychopath in terms of their eyes is the lack of crow's feet on either side of the eyes, and this is from because they smile with their, even, I'm talking about like way up until 50 and maybe 50 beyond, they'll have little or no crow's feet here without any plastic surgery. And many psychopath females will actually boast about, I have no, I have no crow's feet, that kind of thing. And the reason is they don't smile they, properly. A proper smile is when you smile with your eyes and your whole face lights up and it's just like, that's a natural smile. It's spontaneous, there's a spontaneity there. You don't have to think about smiling. A psychopath, male and female, smiles like this. Just, it's like the Joker from the old Batman cartoon. It's almost like a painted on smile, but the eyes don't smile. They don't crinkle. They don't have that sparkle in them when they smile. And hence, they don't have their crow's feet here. And that's also caused by the fact that they don't, they, they don't have a consistent identity. Like a psychopath feel, female, especially, especially a psychopath female, is a different person or a different persona for everybody they're manipulating. They'll be completely different for each person. And so your wrinkles on your face, the lines on your face are like the lines on your hand. They're, they're, they, they, tell, they talk of your personality. They talk about who you are. And a person who doesn't have crow's feet here, maybe they don't smile a lot because they're just like not a smiley kind of person. But if they smile, like a, 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 the psychopath smile comes in two forms. It's this, this kind of thing. Like just a... The Joker from Batman, just bent upwards. And there's also, if you take a photograph of uh, of a psychopath, and they're sort of like smile, that kind of thing. They'll, this, you, the, in nearly every photograph, the smile will be like a sneer. It'll be like this, like the 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 lip slightly punched up on one side, the left or the right, and a sneer, like like it's almost like uh, that's that's very reptilian. It's like how dare you take a picture of me. And so, and that's another thing too about psychopaths. There's usually no photographs of them before you met them. You, probably, you might see photographs of babies and children say, that was me when I was a baby. But you won't see any pictures of them when they were in relationships before you because the chance that you were a completely different person. And even if you do see their photograph, 
before you knew them, they show it to you on an old passport or something, you won't recognize the person. It, it's a completely different person. So psychopathic eyes, yes, they are very important for recognizing a psychopath. But don't, just because someone has a dead stare don't auto, or, or no crow's feet, don't automatically assume they're a psychopath. But if they have the other traits, you put the two things together and you've got a psychopath. So, you know, it's true. The eyes are the window of the soul. They are.